So, here's a story which broke a few days ago, definitely worth talking about. Philip Alston, an Aussie gentleman, United Nations Special Rapporteur on Extreme Poverty. He was in the UK recently on a fact-finding mission. Where did he go? London, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Newcastle, Essex, Bristol and Belfast. He used the word staggering to describe levels of child poverty in the UK. At a news conference, he said he had seen, quote, a lot of misery, a lot of people who feel the system is failing them, a lot of people who feel the system is really just there to punish them, unquote. And he also said that as far as the benefit system in this country goes, people at the bottom are being reminded that they are lucky to get anything at all. Nothing is being made easy. It's pretty damning stuff from an expert on human rights. Referring to the welfare system again, he said, If you got a group of misogynists in a room and said, Guys, how can we make this system work for men and not for women? They wouldn't have come up with too many other ideas than what's already in place. Our government apparently completely disagrees, trotting out such talking points as household incomes have never been higher and a million fewer people are living in absolute poverty than in 2010. And those unemployment figures, they don't look too shabby. Problem is, quite a few people who do work, they can't make ends meet on minimum wage or can't sustain themselves in a gig economy, zero hour contract working environment. In work poverty is a real thing. Yeah. You can look up how the UN defines abject or absolute poverty. The Tories like to trot out numbers they think makes their record look good, but as a result of their austerity policies, people are being driven to food banks. Welfare cuts or static benefits are causing some degree of food insecurity in many a household. Typical shit from the Conservatives. Typical rhetoric. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Work yourself out of poverty, rather than expecting handouts like a bloody layabout. That kind of smug talk galvanises support in some quarters, no doubt. Maybe it makes a few people feel uppity and superior to others, but it does nothing to address real-world problems such as destitution and rising inequality. I remember not too long ago the Archbishop of Canterbury using his position of privilege to speak out on poverty, saying, quote, We cannot continue with an economy that works so badly for so many. Clearly, Theresa May was not happy about this. But anyway, Philip Alston, he came in for the usual kind of attacks. Why are you talking about poverty in the UK when it's so worse, so much worse, elsewhere in the world? Well, as he said in an interview with Channel 4, he does raise concerns about the goings-on in extremely poor countries around the world, but that doesn't mean that rich countries like the UK get a free pass. Why should we? Mel Stride, who is Financial Secretary to the Treasury, basically a talking head they send out to try and defend the government's very questionable record by trotting out possibly misleading statistics while trying to undermine this latest UN report. 
when I was listening to this guy, yeah, well polished, talking numbers which paint a rosy picture as you'd expect. Professor Philip Alston's figures, not such a rosy picture. 14 million people, one in five of the population of the UK, living in poverty, with 1.5 million being actually destitute at some point in 2017. The measure Alston is using to come up with a figure of 14 million in poverty is relative poverty, meaning it takes the percentage of people on less than 55% of the median income, accounting for such things as debt, disability, housing costs, and childcare. Yeah. 